What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Eli the Star back at it again with another banger. How y'all doing? If y'all been keeping up with me on social media, y'all already know your boy's been, you know, your boy's been overseas. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little, a little Tokyo trip. Not something light, something light, nothing crazy. But these pieces today I got, a little crazy. I'm gonna stop yapping and we just gonna get straight to it. So I wanna start off quick. A little bait tea, you know what I'm saying? Nice and beautiful. I got it straight from the Bape store. A little double XL. I don't know if y'all can see that. So if y'all don't really know, shopping in big sizes in Japan, hard. It's extremely difficult. I'm 6'1". I'm usually like an XL in tees. Like, these tees go hard though. Japanese Bape exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Super nice. Someone pull out the Google Translate. I fake don't know what that say, but I'm pretty sure it says something about bait. I was originally actually looking for the long sleeve of this, but they were sold out. And I was trying to get it in black and they sold out. I really messed with this design. So like I already knew I had to cop. You know, I even bought a little mask to go with it. And, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but kind of close, kind of close. Can you tell I went to Japan yet though? <laughs> Can't wait to bust out these shirts for the springtime. Follow your boy on the gram and you're gonna see it. This, this is gonna be a fit flick with it coming soon. You'll see. Now this next piece got a little cab empty. Made in Japan. Nippon. I just found it at some random thrift store in some part of Japan. <laughs> some part of Tokyo, you know, it's a regular day, just walking around Tokyo, you know, casual shit, casual shit. Now, yeah, I found this at some thrift store. It was basically 20, maybe less. Like, this was for the low. This was a steal. So I had to grab this up. Son, I gotta throw in with my spring collection, you know what I'm saying? But with those out the way, let's get on to the pants. I feel like I got some real nice cops. I'm a size 36 waist. I went to so many different stores, found so many pieces that just caught, called. Like, Eli, please buy me. I had money in hand. When I tell you cash was in my hand, ready to be handed, but they didn't have my size. I mean, like, I'm not even that big of a boy. I don't understand. But, <laughs> barring all that, I found some fire pieces that I know y'all mess with. These jeans were so hard to find. I found these denims in one of the capital stores. I think it was the one in Robongi. I went to so many capital stores just trying to buy literally anything. Honestly, I was just trying to buy anything. But these jeans, they fit perfect. I mean, you can probably see right now, like... I really mess with these jeans. They only really costed me about 250. I don't know how much these are online. I don't really be looking at stuff like that because I'm not one to buy like resale prices. I can't. I'm a frugal spender. I'm gonna show y'all some frugal spending tips in a future video, so y'all should stay tuned for that. I don't really like to go all out, but 250 and this is good quality denim for real. Yeah. Easy, easy, easiest purchase I made. Easiest purchase I made. My next pair, yeah. These were a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah, I <duh>. know. <laughs> Dude told me it was the last from my size. I was like, let me try this on real quick. Tried it on, yo. <laughs> but y'all can see this, like, embroidery, all of this is so tough. And the denim? Yeah, that, that's all I gotta say about the denim. And y'all thought I was only gonna buy one pair of Visu jeans? Nah, I got another. <laughs> Look at this tag. 20% off? Yeah. <laughs> what? I would be crazy to not have bought these. These only came out to about 220. Purple jeans cost more than these. And purple jeans aren't even that good. Let me just start right there. Purple jeans are kind of trash. But these? Yeah. But the pants don't even stop there. Cause I went to Capital again and got two pairs of cargoes. I mean, there's not much to say. Honestly, these cargoes are just tough. I wanted to get it in black, but they didn't have no more. 
These were the last ones and the, I was literally flying out the day right after. They told me there would be another pair coming in, but I was like, I'm not gonna be here for that. The only thing is, I don't think they actually fit me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to post it on my Grail account. The link will be in the description. So if you are interested in these pairs, please click the link, hit me up, let me know. So the green pair is a size two and the khaki pair is a size three. So again, if you guys are interested in these pairs, the link will be down in the description for both. Now we're getting onto some of my favorite cups. So we are gonna start with some babe studs. Now these pair of sneakers right here, these are my first ever babe studs. I never owned babe sneakers before until I got these. You can see it, the leather on this is so nice and it's very cushiony. I tried them on while I was in the store and they felt right. Like this is a size 11. I went to three different babe stores <laughs> to find babe studs in my size. This wasn't even my first pick actually. This was like my second pick. My first pick were this fire pair. It was like kind of like suede -ish. Oh my, I wanted those so bad, but they did not have a size 11. The biggest size they had was a nine. I'm not a nine. I'm not, I, I'm not a nine. <laughs> but honestly, what makes this purchase so great, I only paid 175 for these. Exact same pair on the bait website. $300, I paid $175 USD, and I know, I I literally checked my credit card after I paid. $175? Less than a pair of J's. Most of the sneakers over here was not $175. $175? Yeah, these are steel. I'm gonna go more in depth on this pair in a future video, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for when I release that, cause these are just fire. <laughs> Now, before we get into these last few pieces, I want to show you some fire accessories I copped on this trip too. Start off, little billionaire boy club. <laughs> I found this belt at the billionaire boy club in Harajuku. I'm really looking forward to styling this with some of my outfits. A little undercover, you know what I'm saying? I got this fire undercover cuff. I mean, like, there's not much to say. Just a little undercover on the wrist, you know? Sun light, sun light for the day, you know? <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> the past, the future, we make noise, not clothes. Like, that's tough. And now, my favorite accessories gotta be these. A little chrome heart to match the chrome heart. I mean, like, I got these pieces. Actually, I don't know if I want to tell y'all where I got these pieces from. I'm not, I'm gatekeeping. Yeah, I'm gonna gatekeep my Chrome Hearts plug right now. I will tag him on IG. If y'all follow me on Insta, you will know where I got this stuff at. Cause I will shout out my plug on there, my Chrome Heart plug. He got me right. He got me right. <laughs> Quick little honorable mention: my Basics hat. Now I found this at a Nubian in Harajuku. I kind of just went into Nubian just to see what they had that day. But I found this hat and I instantly fell in love with it. I'm not really like a beanie kind of guy. Not normally, but I think this might turn me into a beanie kind of guy. <laughs> but with those out the way, let's get into the fire pick. Because these next pickups is heat, yo. So this piece right here, this nice hoodie I got from Ape. Now, there's one thing about me, I really love me some fleece. I really wanted a fleece hoodie, that's what I was really looking for. So when I went to the Ape store and found this, John, listen. Icing on the cake? Shorty reversible, what? I didn't even know it was reversible until I tried it on. I was like, oh shit, I really needed something like this. And that's Ape, A-A-P-E, you know? Ah, I, I, I don't know how to ape. I'm gonna call it ape. I'm looking forward to wearing this. And now we go on to the last two, and honestly, my favorite pickups of this whole trip. Starting off, Y3 Tokyo, you know what I'm saying? This fire little jacket. And when I bought this, it was on sale. I actually saw this other jacket I liked a lot more. But of course, the biggest size they had was a small. <laughs> but this one, a large, it fits me nice. I feel like it's more of a crop fit on me. So I'll definitely be busting this out more in the springtime. Now to get on to my last and favorite cop of this whole trip, 
Oh my god! Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> this Vetmon hoodie, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know what it is about that reflective stuff. I revert back to animal brain. Ooh, shiny. Because I love me some reflective. And besides all that, vet? And guess how much I paid? I want y'all to comment right now and guess how much I pause the video and guess how much I paid for this hoodie and then unpause it. Don't cheat. One, two, three. I paid about 250 for this hoodie. It was on a crazy sale. This shit got some weight to it, man. Nah. <laughs> like, but this hoodie, I've already worn it a couple times. Like compared to everything else I've shown y'all, I haven't worn yet. I've worn this about like four or five times just on the trip <laughs> Tokyo alone like it's kind of crazy I really love this piece and I don't know it's just <laughs> so that's really it for my Tokyo pickups if y'all saw anything I like please let me know down in the comments and if you saw anything you wasn't really feeling or you just have any suggestions for me personally please also let me know down in the comments I really want to hear y'all opinions thank you guys so much for watching the video until next time Jane.